Okay, so we've got, we caught a rat in the attic, Jesse, and I'm doing a survey outside of how this rat could have gotten in. And the entire house, all the angles are very well sealed. There's only one place he could have gotten in, and it's the most likely place. Even down here, it's gonna be very hard for a rat to get in under there. He has to crawl around, hang, you know, he's got to pull a, a Mission Impossible to, to get in there. I don't, he didn't get in through the roof, so it's not happening underneath that, those little angles. Let me show you. Vamos para ponerla, me la voy a llevar por atrás para enseñar a ver cómo te busco, te busco una solución. So, all, all around it, is, is very well sealed. There's a couple of places that the board underneath is separated, but a rat's not gonna climb underneath there. You did find that little hole, which will be great for American cockroach problem over here, but a rat's not really gonna get underneath. He's not gonna climb up this wall. It's not textured enough. Mice could get up there but not a rat. We're, we're dealing with roof rat right now. And I'm going all around, even all of the electrical going up, it's all nicely sealed. So they've done a nice job, even this air conditioning, which they could potentially get into there, that's nice and tight. There's only one other area. They put, you've got, this is always a problem with solariums and little houses and screens. See underneath there that runner for the soffit seal? Gotta watch my head here. This one runs all the way across and it runs all the way across. It's nice and sealed. Right here, there's a little gap in the back of that. It isn't tight, you know, but my suspicion is right here. I checked all around the entire house. Up here, they, they, they put this new, you know, um, area. They just built this. And then this is left. Look how, look at that gap. Underneath here, I don't know if I can flashlight this. Um, there's the hole. I can see it from outside. I don't know if it can be seen from the inside, from the mesh. There's a round circular hole about two inches. And the rat easily, there's, there's the avocado tree on the other side, and you can see it jumps right on the roof. There's the gap right there. I mean, that's enough in there, but this is where this thing fell and it should have been fixed before they put up this new roof. So now the challenge is, we only have about two inches, we got an overhang. How do we get our hands under there to make this repair and, and just basically tack this little thing up? I'm gonna probably have to get an angle um, drill and be able to maneuver a screw in there and then with an angle drill next week, maybe we can do it, get a drill under there to, to tighten it. We can't put a screw in there manually. This it looks like it's PVC vinyl, and we might be able to do it that way. So there's a separation. Obviously, there's going to be there that fascia board is completely separated, and American roaches are going to be able to get under there, but we can't seal it either. There's no rub marks. I'm not seeing rub marks. This has been going on now for a while. It isn't something new.